a movie, you're at the mall. Uh, Rory Clinton, lead guitar. Uh, Benny Amina, two forno vocals. Kavika Brickwood, keys. EJ Navarro, bass. Dondi Reyes, drums. Mr. Mack, vocals. David Nava, uh, rhythm guitar. Uh, Mr. Mack, that'd be. Uh, Mr. Mack. <laughs> well, <coughs> when I joined the band, uh, we were a Hawaiian just Hawaiian band. We did luau's, you know, just, you know, a bunch of us just getting together and then we just slowly went into, you know, started playing the reggae songs that we play at barbecues and just, you know, just jamming, doing what we love to do. Yeah. And, you know, just, we never turned back. Well, I, I think I can speak for some of us here is that uh, we, uh, as we grew as a band, we, we built those relationships and maintained them. Yeah. And building those relationships, develop trust with the uh, the other venues and the other promoters. Right. And when it came time, we uh, we worked really hard and we had to deliver. And when when it when we delivered, we did. Yeah, mm -hmm. There's no question. We had to put in the work and deliver what we uh, what we're supposed to be about. Yeah. Yeah. Preparation and opportunity, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. It's big, man. That's yeah. Big. I would add to that because I think um, you know most of us are older. We all have a, a career. You know, aside from the band, yeah. and I think um, you know, playing music brought us all together. But we also knew how to, you know, be professional and be prepared for for what we had to bring out right. and put out there to, yeah. to, yeah. to the music, to the people, the vendors. So they expected a product, and um, you know that 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 helped. So when we were starting to see and meet some of the the, the people affiliated with these bigger venues, right. you know, they, they understood. We meet a lot. Yeah. yeah. We, meet, we, we meet, meet a lot. lot, of lot of <laughs> 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 Emails and yeah. text messages. Emails, yeah. text messages. Constant, Constant communication, huh? Yeah. 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 I mean, well, um, uh, as far as keeping us all together, yeah, uh, we, we do the regular as everybody else, you know, text, emails, and all kinds of social media stuff. But as, as a band, we all have, you know, that one thing in common that, we, we strive for it into our in our music and that's what you know the music itself brought us together yeah. and the music itself is what drives us that's we're, what, that's we're not awesome. perfect you know we yeah. quarrel oh, absolutely. You know, we that's brothers do right yeah. Yeah. Exactly. we like think, family yeah. right? that's one yeah. of our, yeah. our strongest yeah. traits is that we're able to jump on you know each other and be like you know Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta have thick skin if you're gonna be part of one accord exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good to that's team Oh, well, we have one big influence from this tour that we were just on, and uh, we I think we were heavily influenced by the group Maoli, yeah. by their work ethic, their style, and um, their professionalism. Yeah. And I think it reflected on all of us. And you know, as a group, I think it's it's uh, helped our evolution, and you know, helped us in terms of our growth. Yeah. You know, I'll say it in that sense. You know, I'm sure the rest of these guys can weigh in on all sorts of other influences that influence them to, to uh, what they bring into the band today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say we learned a lot from Maoli, especially yeah. being on the tour. Um, you know, even even before going into it, you know, they they were giving us heads up on on certain things. You know, just as far as like being somewhere on time and things like that, and just that that really helped as far as like how we moved along in the tour. And, and, you know, really pushed us to try to reach that level. So, yeah. you know, it's like now we're trying to keep this momentum to, like, keep it going and not lose what we've gained. And so, you know, like, doing stuff like this is, like, real big to us, just especially yeah. because back home, you know, we, we, we have a lot of shows. And there's some shows that we do pack out and there's some that we don't. And it's like even being at home, you know what I mean? Like, there's still a lot of people that don't even know who we are. Right. Yeah. Um, so like you know something like this is like real real big. I Seattle. would say <laughs> yeah. 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 See, I knew it was one. Yeah. First, Seattle, man. For, for me, Seattle. you know, yeah. that was big. Yeah, that was the first first show. You know, for me, you know, and a lot of us, you know, we're playing with bands that we grew up to listening to. Yeah. Right. And, you know, at the same time, you know, it's like a big family. You know, 
humbling to see, you know, oh, I've been listening to them for years. Mm -hmm. And you see them and on stage. Play with them? Yeah. And we're playing on them, Dude. playing with them on stage. <laughs> and, and we play their songs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, we got to start somewhere. So it was just like before there's originals, like yeah. playing yeah. their songs. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I know you guys had to look at each other on stage and just be like, man, this is really that happening. Moment. Yeah, right? Yeah. 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 That, being, that also being the first day of our tour yeah. was, um, I think, uh, their acceptance of us yeah. was also like key to you know, us recognizing that, hey, we, we came to this point now. Yeah. They actually, like, like our stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They like us, you know, so I think that... Off the bat, too, huh? Your first day, your first... Your first yeah. Day. Yeah, that was, the, yeah. that was the biggest show of yeah. the tour, was yeah. that, first, that first show. That first week, yeah. yeah. We actually yeah. dropped uh, going to the... What was it? Oh, the Fob Nation Awards, because we were nominated for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah? And instead of going over there, we decided to pick up the tour and yeah. you know like for us um, I, I guess I could speak for everybody we're glad that we did that because yeah. that that opportunity was something that if we would have passed it up we wouldn't we wouldn't be yeah. where we're at yeah, yeah be prepared folks, <coughs> folks are always gonna try to put you down yeah, yeah. you gotta yeah. overcome yeah. it yeah and playing those shows where there yeah. might only be 10 people there or whatever you gotta act like there's a thousand people yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. you gotta give the same yeah. performance yeah. Well, one person Right. Yeah. That's yeah. one yeah. more fan right. you got. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You don't know who that one person them. is, right? Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Like sale on iTunes or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd say come, come prepared. You know, come prepared. Be humble. Be humble too. You know, yeah. and, and make sure you reach out to the the crowd. Yeah. You know, yeah. whoever's there. Get you know, it's not just what you put out there on the stage, but it's also when you interact with them afterwards. You know, and and just really appreciate definitely the people that are that are there to see you. And you know. To we're uh, we're definitely talking about getting back together to to work on some originals, um, the EP, yeah. just just getting our music out there. We were focused on on the tour, uh, yeah. pre preparing for the tour. Then yeah. we we're on the tour, and now we want to we want to get back out there. I'm gonna go first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, off the top of my head, uh, House of Shim. Yeah, House of Shim, right there. I I. That's my groove right there. I love them. Uh, they're based out of New Zealand. Yeah. Uh, nice. <laughs> I'll, I'll go. I, I say the Green I'm from Hawaii. Yeah. I just have a lot of respect for those guys musically on multiple levels. Mm -hmm. So that would be mine for sure. Nice. Yeah. Anybody else? Um, I'll go. Uh, one of my idols is Fiji. You know, that's my vocal. You know, I strive yeah. to my presence, my, you know, my crisp, you know, just everything on stage that I bring, you know, I try to not copy him, but, you know, just... Yeah, be inspired by... Set the yeah. bar high. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Nice. nice. I'll, nice. I'll try, man. I, I think doing something with Maoli and Jordan T, like oh, those guys, yeah. Would, yeah. Yeah, definitely would be nice. It hasn't really been put on the table much with the band because... <laughs> um, it, we haven't been approached so much yet, no. and with either of those avenues, I think what what's good about this band is um, we always put everything on the table and look at what's best for us long term. Yeah, and um, and just make that decision as a band. It's kind of like a, you know you get the creativity, the freedom of the creativity Absolutely. when you're an independent yeah. artist, yeah, whether right. you're yeah. on a label. You know, it's not always the case, right. and you know you got to put out so many albums on a deadline instead of being able yeah. to kind of do things. The way you want to do yeah, it. Yeah, it works out way better with us because it's like, you know, we're our own managers. Yeah. And uh, if we mess up, then that's all on us. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> we don't have to go to another I person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of see ourselves as, um, as how we see our mentors right now. Um, you know, putting, putting Monterey, the A31 on the map. Yeah. You know, from an island vibe um, standpoint. That's that's kind of what I see, and I think all of us. It's kind of nice as we all have different. Which all these guys can weigh in on their visions too, because uh, you know I think we're all for making a positive impact. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah, uh, I know there's a lot of youth that are following us. You know, so yeah. it's good to be a, a good impression to the future. Yeah. I think this band is has you know the way we've come together, we've we've discovered ourselves, our creativity, and and as you can see, there's a there's a mix. Of yeah. genre here, you know, even our influences, you know, we, we bring a lot of different influence from 
from rock and roll to blues to to soul and R and B and then of course the reggae and yeah. it, and it's all come together and I think and every time we get together to just jam or or create man we we come up with some good stuff and that's, and that's what I hope in five years we have something to show for that yeah, you know, yeah. be able to maybe share two or three albums out there hopefully right. Right. share yeah. our magic with the world that'd be great. Yeah. I was born and raised. Right. Right. Born and raised. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to my kids, my students over at Marine High. You know, send a good example for them. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Born and raised in Santa Cruz. My I boys at the uh, Seaside Fire Department. That's, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Capitan over here. There you go. <laughs> that's that's nice. Fun, um, nice. Fort Worth. Yeah. Hey. I was 831 when we were still 408. I think it's the culture. For me, it's the culture. Yeah. I'm originally from Seattle, but over here, I just feel that home. Yeah. So, you know, I have two homes, Seattle and the 831. So it's, I think the culture here really pulls me in. Nice. Mm. Gray Great goose got me feeling kind of loose. Irk a jerk makes me want to work for the kind of girl and make your toes curl. Make your toes curl. I'll get the run and go. I'm gonna run and go. I hope she likes to slow. I'm not the scratch and go. I'm the rub me slow. I'm gonna make your body up for the kind of burn. And it never let you go, never let you go. On by without you knowing how I'm gonna love you, I'm gonna love you. Bye. And it never let you go, never let you go on by without you knowing how I'm gonna love you, I'm gonna love you, right? Baby girl, you got me going crazy. I want to love him, baby. Why don't you be my lady? Baby girl, you got my heart crying. I feel like I'm dying. Why don't you be my lady? And I'll never let you go, never let you go on by without you knowing how I'm gonna love you, I'm gonna love you. Bye. And I'll never let you go, never let you go on by without you knowing how I'm gonna love you, I'm gonna love you. Bye.